What's going on you guys? So we are back to work on the car, moving along, got some more parts in, and found some parts that I had laying around that I totally forgot about. So, first of all, that is just about everything we need to get this engine built. Everything is in. Only thing I still need to get now are, well, I should say is a camshaft and cam bearings. So I went ahead and ordered up the oil cooler line. So I got the oil cooler line. I got the oil cooler fittings. We just decided to go with the uh, Fragola push lock style fittings on that stuff. And while I was at it, I decided, you know what? The oil return drain that I'm gonna have to run for the turbo right there. Now originally I said that the port that was on that oil pan was not going to work because of the way, it, how close it was to the steering rack there. But I actually measured it and this spot right here on the return tucks perfectly into this little pocket right here. And the distance down and everything is just like spot on. Now, another thing that I forgot that I built for this car a long time ago was parts that I have on the list of need to get, and that was tow arms and vertical links. So I have the factory tow arm right here. The vertical link is somewhere, but I totally forgot that I actually built tow arms and vertical links for this thing about a year and a half ago, and they've been sitting up on that bench. I just needed to make uh, the proper offset spacers for them so this morning I went ahead and did that and now you can see we have our Heim joint vertical link right there and our adjustable tow arm down there So for now, the only thing left we need to get on the rear suspension is going to be the camber arms. Rear toe arms and vertical links are off the list. And we can take oil cooler lines off. Oh, I remembered what that said too. That said manifold gaskets. And since I'm back here doing the offset spacers and getting the vertical links and lower control arms done, I did do this side already, but I figured I can go ahead and put the rest of this rear suspension back together. So I'm going to go through, tighten all the lines up. Oh, what the fuck? I'm going to go ahead and put the half shaft back in it because the half shafts are just sitting on the bench right now. I'm going to go through, make sure the brakes are all tight, and just basically tighten everything up. So that way when I get those upper camber arms, I'll be able to just throw them in there and the rear suspension will be done. Now, another thing I need to get done on this car that I finally have parts in for are the oil cooler lines. So we're gonna go ahead and get those routed. Now, I don't have the Canton pan on the back of here. So what I'm gonna end up doing is assembling the lines from the cooler to the oil filter. And then I'm just gonna route the lines down and back and leave a little bit of excess off there. So once I have the Canton pan on the car, I can put the last two fittings that'll go to the block and that should, uh, you know, be good to go. I'll just need to actually put those fittings on once everything's finally in the car. But for now, I can make the lines, get everything routed. So the oil lines, everything are now done, routed on the car. I just kind of dumped them out the back there temporarily until uh, the oil pan and all that's in there because I'll need to have the adapter block so this is the, the Canton Racing adapter block that bolts to the bottom of the Canton pan, and then the fittings come off of that. So once I know the exact position of that, I'll be able to put the last two fittings on and uh, go ahead and put some nice clamps on everything, clamp it all down a little bit tighter. Our list is getting smaller though, so we're kind of getting to the point where, you know, I keep saying I'm going to pull the engine next weekend, I'm going to pull the engine next weekend, but, you know, I was going to do it this weekend, but then I kind of decided you know what I don't even have the money to send it to the machine shop right now especially after buying all the stuff for the engine 
So I'm just gonna leave it in here for now. Maybe I'll throw, a, throw the cylinder heads back on it later today and kind of snug them down and work on doing the turbo mount bracket. But that's gonna be it for this one. Just like quick little short video, doing some stuff in the rear suspension, nothing crazy. Running some oil lines and just, you know, banging some workout. The rear suspension stuff did take a little bit longer than anticipated because I had to make spacers and all that stuff for it, but turned out good. It's all back in the car, easy to align. Like I was saying though, that's gonna be it for this one. So like the video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel if you're new, follow the build along. And if you want to, head on over to ShaneWellyRacing.com, pick up some merch. We got shirts, hoodies, all kinds of stuff. Help support the channel, help support the build. And links as always down in the description. So until the next one, I'll catch you guys later.